taxation from the left, it's seen as this wonderful, just this incredibly effective behavioral engineering method, right? Well, let's tax cigarettes because we want to discourage cigarettes. Let's tax alcohol because we want to discourage alcohol. Okay, apply that shit to income! Here's my question of the day. At what point does someone become so wealthy that it's immoral in your opinion? Uh, because Cortez, Cortez has decided what it is, ish, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. I'd like to know what your amount is. What's that number? You know, everyone has that retirement number. What's the number to you where it all of a sudden becomes an immorality uh, huh. as it relates to wealth? But yeah. here we go. We're going to be uh, addressing this very popular, apparently, to tax, I don't know if we'd call it a tax plan, but let's, let's start off with- <laughs> It's an idea. Let's start off with Cortez. Here's it's what she has to say. Do we live in a moral world that allows for billionaires? Is that a moral outcome in and no, of itself? No, it's not. Um, it's not. And... Huh. Uh, well, you know what's funny is um, because every time people ask Cortez how she's going to pay for her socialist programs, her answer <laughs> is billionaires will pay for oh. that. This is what's so remarkable. Like a suggestion, by the way, I think we actually even have another clip. Uh, one of the most popular is a 70% tax rate on everyone who makes more than $10 million a year. But it's not that bad. It's only 70% after every $10 million you make. Let's hear her tell it. But once you get to like the tippy tops, uh, oh, on your yeah. 10 millionth dollar, uh, sometimes you see swamp. tax rates as high as 60 or 70 percent. That doesn't mean all 10 million dollars are taxed at an extremely high rate, but it means that as you climb up this ladder, you should be contributing more. Because you were contributing so less before you right. reached the $10 yeah. million dollar mark. <laughs> Arnold. Thank you, by the way. This just shows the stupidity. And I will say, people say, well, don't talk down to the others. No, the stupidity of the Cortez base that she has to explain the mere concept of marginal tax rates. Like, well, is it <laughs> so if I make $10 million, I'm going to pay half, so I'd rather just make $9 million. This is so ridiculous. The fact that people who follow her don't understand what marginal tax rates are. No, hold on a second. Don't, don't, don't you give me that light, Gerald. So here's the thing. <laughs> well, she's wishing, that, by the way, that the super rich didn't even exists, her answer to everything is, we're just we're gonna tax the billionaires. They're gonna pay for it. How are you gonna pay for college? Tax the billionaires. How are you gonna pay for one's healthcare? Tax the billionaires. And here's something that's so funny to me, before we get into the statistics, just while we're talking about the morality of this issue, yeah. even though um, Cortez, and, and, and I'll say you, the followers out there who stumble across this channel drunken after a stuffed burger the night before, <laughs> even though you claim that the concept of billionaires is, is immoral, only your system requires the existence of billionaires to exist. The capitalist system does not. The free enterprise system is financially blind. Yours requires the great immoralities of billionaireism. Don't know if that's a term, but I don't care. To be a reality as the foundation of your system in the first place. We don't need it. You make what you make, you get taxed a fair amount. Mm. You require billionaires for it to work even though you think that it couldn't possibly be less moral. How is nobody else talking about this? <laughs> Let's move on to our next claim. <laughs> I think that it's wrong that that a vast majority of the country does not make a living rate wage. I think it's wrong. Very important. She just said living wage. Hours oh, right. Now we're going to continue. Not yeah. feed your kids. Foreshadowing. I think it's wrong that uh, that corporations like Walmart can and, and Amazon can get paid, they can get paid by the government essentially experience a wealth transfer from the public what? for paying people less than a minimum wage. Uh, did you see what she just did what? there? Did you see what she just did there? Yeah. Did you see what um. she said living wage and then minimum, minimum wage, wage yes. as though they were interchangeable. By the way, as far as the rest of the bullshit, <laughs> Do we really even need to fact check this? Washington Post gave her Pinocchios saying that the vast majority, and not only, it's, it's, it's not the vast majority, it's about 32 to 38% of American workers who make below a living, a living wage, Quote and that's unquote. according to an abstract standard. It's not yes. uniform across the board. By the way, this is the same Washington Post that fact checked Donald Trump's claim that burgers were stacked a mile high at the White House dinner saying that was, that was inaccurate. <laughs> so these are not, this isn't the bastion of right wing conspiracy oh theory fake news, by the way. Even and they go, Cortez, come on, you're killing us here, really? <laughs> it makes it makes me less empathetic to poor people. You know why? Because keep in mind, not making a living wage in the United States doesn't mean that you're starving in a bamboo hut. No. It means you don't have the latest yeah. iPhone. Let's move on to the next yeah. claim that, uh, that, that she makes here. She makes a claim that the government pays Amazon and Walmart. That goes back to the rally for Bernie with Jean yeah. Guy at Walmart and the island came in. Like, this is nothing <laughs> new. By the way, how do you know it's not true? Because it's illegal. Right. It's illegal to pay less than a minimum wage. Right. Second, <laughs> Call the minimum wage for a reason. Second, Amazon actually has a policy. They pay people $15 an hour. Your buddy Bernie praised them for this. 
Jeff Bezos is an evil, filthy, rich son of a bitch. Well, he pays 15 an hour. I retract my statement temporarily. <laughs> Until Cortez, your floor. <laughs> no, she just continually uses minimum wage, living wage interchangeably. It's like, it's just so remarkable to me that people allow this to go unchecked, like the places, uh, what was this running, now this? Yeah. Without ever even allowing for the possibility of some accuracy in fact-checking. Living wage, minimum wage, it's like, it's like equating murder with boppity booping someone on the head. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on a second, wait, was it murder? Well, no, it's, it's, it's a, there was a boopity bop. Whoa, 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 was it murder? Was it, is it a minimum wage? It's a living wage. Well, what does that mean? Well, you know, a good wage, but okay, but are you talking about a minimum wage? No, it's a, it's a living wage, boopity boppity. By the way, the rich are getting richer. You know who else is also getting richer? The middle class and yep. the poor. Absolutely. They're getting rich. That's something that I always find like, well, the billionaires are getting wealthier than they were in the past. So are the middle class and the poor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but the richer, but the richer are getting even are getting more richer. Really? You envious prick. How about being <laughs> grateful for what you have? How about starting with that? Speaking of being grateful, we're grateful when you subscribe, but more importantly, if you hit the notification bell here on YouTube, because subscriptions just disappear in your box, hit that Weird. bell, join Mug Club, $99 annually, $69 for students, veterans, active military, and subscribe on iTunes in case we ever get deplatformed. Let's move on to something else that Cortez has to say. Are we comfortable with a society where someone can have a personal helipad while this city is experiencing <laughs> the highest rates of people Sounds experiencing awesome. homelessness and, and since the Great Depression. Should yes. those two things coexist at the same time? How, how are those two things, I keep dropping my cigar, <laughs> how are those two things connected at all? By the way, no, let me answer this for you. If you were like a serial killer with threads going across the room and the number 23 <laughs> yeah, going, exactly. helipads, and you would end up nowhere. You'd end up outside <laughs> of your sex dungeon where the cops would find you and say, this, you made it really easy. It's almost as though your connections were nonsensical. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bundy. Okay, let's try and draw, let's let's look at a through line here. Let's look at California. A lot of people say it's not fair to point to Venezuela, even though you endorsed that shit. So let's go to California since it's stateside. Three interesting facts about California. I always talk about this. Has the most far left policies of any state, arguably. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not arguable. They have more billionaires than any other state. Mm -hmm. And it's also the number one state for poverty. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Can There's you connect the dots on the back of your kid's menu map, dummy? No one else did that? Connect the dots in the kids menu map? Oh, of course. When they thought I was a moron when I was a kid, I did the little connect the dots in the maze faster than anyone. They just said, hey, it turns out he's really bored and he's kind of a dick, your son. <laughs> it, had eight, it had eight dots, though. In contrast, by the way, do we really need to reiterate that it's it's been shown time and time again, statistically, that capitalism free enterprise pulls millions of people out of poverty, more than any other system yes. since the beginning of time. By the way, well, you were going to say something. Well, no, because... It's something that's been bother it bothers me because when she brings up Amazon and the homeless and a Bezos getting a, ta a, a big tax uh, right. tax break, the day that the tax break was announced and she says, "Well, my constituents are blowing up my phone lines," the week before they reelected the exact same governor who's giving him the tax break while ignoring the subways falling apart hmm. uh, because he's an orange man bad. Oh, good for him. <laughs> the year before that, they were they in record numbers voted for the mayor who's been ignoring the homeless. And the subways. So if these ass clowns are complaining about this now, the line to kiss me ass forms to the right. Well, are we complaining about this whole, homeless people in the subways or just subway restaurants? Because they've fallen out of Both. fashion since, you know, the whole pedophile chat room thing. <laughs> Let's go on to the <laughs> next clip from the word Hold it. Cortez. Next clip. Maybe this idea of idealizing this outcome of maybe one day you too can be a billionaire mm. and own more than millions of families combined mm. is not an <laughs> aspirational mm. or good thing. Why not? Okay, Here's, it's not a zero-sum game. People like Cortez think the only way <laughs> that you can make a billion is by just taking it from other people. Yeah. That's not how it works. Poor people don't have a billion dollars. You look at people like Jeff Bezos, you look at Bill Gates, they, they employ thousands upon thousands of people. Wealth yes. just doesn't, doesn't just appear out of the sky. And by the way, when she's talking about record homelessness, what's funny, she, she's in New York City. You guys have had what you wanted for years. It'd be like, it'd be like pointing to Detroit as though it's this bastion of Republicanism. Like, well, if you look at Detroit and you see what Republicans got, what they wanted completely unfettered since 61. <laughs> you couldn't be further from the truth, Cortez. You couldn't be less rooted in reality. Here's something that really bothers me. When did it just become okay to vilify business owners? Period. That's something that's, that's remarkable. We talk about others and we talk about a cla different classes of people and how you should never sort of have this depersonalization that, that, that happens with minorities. Okay, but why is it okay to do it to business owners? 
just because they happen to contribute. By the way, why is it immoral for a business owner? I've never understood this. Please, someone let me know. This has always been lost on me. Why is it immoral for a business owner to sign the front of a check over to an employee, but not for someone like Cortez to sign the back of a check receiving hmm. it, even though she's provided no value of her own. Wait, 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 I, I, here's one thing too. We talk about the immorality of money in billions, but what's the real number? Elizabeth Warren doesn't agree with Cortez, doesn't agree with Bernie. None of them actually agree on the number as far as what the moral amount of money is to have. That's why they have to vilify business owners because they know that as a general rule, business owners who at this point are successful enough to tax, well, they can be vilified because they have more on average than the average bear. Th th that's, what, that's why they can't give you a specific number and they just say, well, it's business owners, bad. You know how I can tell you that it's immoral to implement Cortez's plan? Ask me, Brodigan, how do I know that it's immoral? How do you know that it's, it's immoral? Theft! It's theft! It's theft! That's why! That's, I don't need to, oh, can I put a fine point on it? You, it would be just as immoral if she walked in right now and took half of this studio equipment and walked right out. Mm. And people always say, at least right. she's genuine. We hear this about Bernie and Cortez. At least she's genuine. Genuine about what? Genuine mm. about wanting to steal people's stuff? What if, what if you had a friend <laughs> who's like, honest. I'm gonna steal that <laughs> right. O'Henry bar. Well, you know what? He's a felon, but at least he's honest. Who cares? And this is one thing, I know this is gonna sound self, uh, sort of self-gratifying. Self I am a business owner, right? And I don't know when it happened that all of a sudden to people like Cortez, I just woke up and I'm a dick. For no reason, I don't know when that happened because it's a slow progression of a, a pride swallowing siege that I will never fully tell you about where you know this, yes. I took no money, bankrolled it out of a savings account. Yep. By the way, let's go with this. I, when do you wake up? When do you clock into work? Because for the last five years, before this year, and you know that now I'm gonna be taking some time, gonna be trying to get my health in order, for at least five years, I woke up and was actually working a minimum of four hours before the average American citizen walks into the office. 5 a.m. every single morning working. Add that up for five years. What's that worth to you? Let alone the stress. I hear people, I heard one person in this, uh, now this comment section saying, yeah, the rich are just mad because we're coming for that cheddar. Well, hold on a second. You're, co you're coming for whose cheddar? You're coming for Brodigan's cheddar? You're coming for Quarter Black Garrett's cheddar? You're coming for Abby's cheddar? You're coming for Maddie's cheddar? You, 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 you're not coming for my cheddar. You're coming for cheddar that has been doled out to other people through commerce. And unlike the rumors of, no, no, listen, this is it. Loud Earth Crowder is a business entirely independent, which is funded by three things. Your contributions, advertising and licensing agreements. Don't work for the blaze, have never worked for someone else. This is an independent company where we have partnerships to try and give you more value added. But for some yeah. reason, this is something that's vilified as opposed to those who suckle at the government's teeth. By the way, this is something that no one has ever been able to explain to me. Taxation from the left, it's seen as this wonderful, just this incredibly effective behavioral engineering method, right? Well, let's tax cigarettes because we want to discourage cigarettes. Let's tax alcohol because we want to discourage alcohol. Let's tax guns, make them more expensive in California. Let's have the extortion tax in California and the bullet button. Let's tax big gulps while we're at it. Okay, apply that shit to income. Why, does this, why is this completely lost on people? What do you think is going to happen with someone who wakes up, works five hours before anybody else even steps foot, even darkens the threshold of that door for five, 10, 15 years? See, sees their company go into the red, pays other people, thinks about them every night before they go to sleep, and it's the first thing they think about when they wake up because they have to pay employees, even though they're not taking money for themselves. They happen to, despite statistical realities, having taken this risk and rolled the dice, find themselves with some modicum of success only to have you step in and say, now we're gonna take 70%. What happens? They will leave. Just like any kind of man who you would want to keep. Corta, I need, I need a cigar. Hey there, if you like this video, subscribe or click one of these videos playing in a box. You know what? Hit the notification bell because subscriptions don't really mean anything anymore, especially if you're not 18 or older, at the very least, logged into YouTube as 18 or older because sometimes people are 25 but they don't know how to use the YouTube system properly and then you never, just hit the notification bell or you hate yourself.